space that you would love to die, uh, would to, to, to dive into. Because what we're going to do is avoid conversations around commitment. Or we're going to deflect, or we're going to be very clever in the type of answer we give, which is very vague and very mystifying. If you can't nail down what he or she said about a situation, please be very frank with yourself. You're in the gray area. Yeah? You're in, and some of you are in relationships and you're in the gray area. Woo! I don't want to talk about it. I know they want to talk about that. I know they want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it? Some of you are in the gray area in a relationship. No, you, you're you in a full-on relationship and you're in a gray area. Right? I will tell you why some of you are in a gray area in a relationship. Though you're in a relationship and it's a relationship monogamous, let's say, for instance, you have no clue what your next move is. Is it marriage or not marriage? You're not sure. When will you get married? You're not sure. You're not sure if you're going to be engaged or not. Okay? You're not sure. Okay? Some of you, are you going to have kids or not? You're not sure. You want kids, but you're not sure if you want kids or not. There are no definitives with your relationship. You're still in the gray area. Right? You are still in the gray area. You're not defining what you actually want. The gray area is created by you. And it's created so it can become black or white, meaning become plain. And when you begin to discuss certain topics, you should know what you actually want and need, and it should be spoken of. But some of you are in relationships even. Not even situationships. Relationships and there are no definitives, no promises, no declarations, no commitments. We'll talk about this another day. We will, we will discuss this another time. And yet every time you come to discuss it, it's deflected. You don't have to do this. You don't have to be there. You don't have to accept this. You just got to speak up. That's another solution we've got to we'll put in there. But you've got to speak up. Okay? You've got to speak up. So that gray area just needs to be made plain. But in the gray area, there are no promises, no commitments, no declarations, no commitment. And that's why I said about PEW earlier on, position expectation wants. Because what really happens to a lot of people is they get involved maybe sexually or they get involved uh, 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 yeah, sexually, uh, um, they, you know, they get excited. They're usually twanged and, and twisted up. And then it is, it's come so quickly. The emotions have come so quickly that they have not had time to really sit down and think, what do I actually want here? What, what am I actually doing here? Right. And it gets to a point where you just assume based on his behavior. OK, that this must be what I want it to be, which is also the next point, even. Right. Assumptions kill. OK. I'll put it up and again, assumptions kill. OK, but you know, in, in this area where there's no promises, no creation, no commitment, Again, you should be able to, if you're, and here's another thing, if your friend asks you, oh, you know what, um, you know what, uh, uh, what's going on with you and, and so-and-so, and you're like, I'm not really sure. Listen, let me tell you this now, tell this for free. If I'm, if I'm on a sex thing, can I be honest with you, can, can I be honest with you guys? If I'm just on a sex thing, I'm going to tell a girl, I'm just on a sex thing. No relationship stuff. I'm, I can't do a relationship, I just want sex. I'm going to define it for you so that when you go back to your friend, you can say, unless you're going to lie, a lie and because you feel ashamed, that's your own business. But you can go back to your friend and confidently say, we're just having sex. We're just being friends with benefits. No relationship here, right? You should be able to confidently be able to express what this is. When there's no promises, no declarations, no commitment, there's only confusion. But the confusion comes because you're assuming, which we'll move on to our next point in a second or two, right? 
<laughs> ah, another round. I hear you, right? So, in 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 all words, love that Latasha Walker. She said she left a couple of days ago. We appreciate Latasha Walker. Love for that. We'll talk about that another time as well. The power of walking away, which we discussed some years ago on another video that we did. This great era, no promises, no declaration, no commitment, and you yourself. Okay, you yourself. You yourself. Okay, you yourself. Don't know how to define even what you're doing. If you can't define what you're doing, you can't define the next move, you might want to look and make sure you're not in the gray area, because you could be. If you cannot define what your next move is together with your relationship partner, or if you're in a situation shit where you're not really sure where you are at the moment, if you cannot define what this actually is, the then you're playing yourself.